coming, everyone. Uh, this is our reorganization meeting. And I just want to say a couple words. Uh, I want to thank Dr. Fitzsimons here. Uh, Dr. Fitzsimons, <laughs> welcome back. I've been in touch with Rob, and I hear all the wonderful things he's doing, and I thought I moved fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're a little bit cheaper than him. He's uh, good thing we passed our budget. But, uh, but I just want to say, that it's, it's been another great year. We had a great year this year. Uh, some of the ratings came out that I didn't know about that they, that they had, but uh, we were rated number 34 in the state as far as the best teaching staff which is uh, congratulations to our staff and our administrators. Uh, U.S. News and World Report rated us as number 56 in the top 100 in New Jersey. Uh, in high school, there's 1,700 in the nation. So it's a silver medal in the nation. So I just want to congratulate the staff and the administrators and everyone that's involved in the district for doing a great job. Uh, we have clean schools, our kids get the best education for our dollar, for your dollar, and I just want to congratulate everyone. So, that being said, I'd like to take a motion to adjourn this uh, old board. Move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
other nominations? Right. Motion to close the nomination. Move. Second. Okay, let's vote on the nomination. We're going to do a roll call. Mr. Canada? Yep. Mr. Daysdale? Yep. Ms. Jones? Yes. Mr. Mar Mara? Yes. Mr. Pazuta? Yes. Mr. Lutiniano? Yes. Mr. Sanchez? Yes. Ms. Jennings? Yes. Okay, motion carries. Mr. Barsa, congratulations. Thank you. And we will open the floor. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll be opening the floor for a nomination for vice for president. I'd like to nominate John Canada for the post of the vice president. <coughs> <coughs> Second. Mr. Canada. Second. 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 Any other nominations? Motion to close the nomination. Move. Move. Second. 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 Yeah. Vote of the nomination. Mr. Canada. Uh, Mr. Dentel. Yes. Ms. Jonas. Yes. Mr. Mara. Yes. Mr. Pazuta. Yes. Mr. Rutiniano. Yes. Mr. Sanchez. Yes. Ms. Jennings. Yes. Mr. Barsa. Yes. understands organizational change and organizational leadership um, and is serving as a mentor to me and I'm so blessed to also have Dr. Simons to bounce things off with as well and so I feel really good about all that. So one of the things that Mr. Barsha spoke about um, is where we come out in some recent rankings um, where we're in you know basically the top 50 for the teaching staff um, in the top 60 where we are in U.S. News, I'm sorry, yeah, U.S. News World Report for our um, rank of high school. I believe that we're only going to move up from there and that we are on a trajectory that's going to take us to you know, the top 20, if not the top 10 in the state and be recognized as the lighthouse district in the New York metro area. So that being said, um, we as an administrative team, as part of my entry plan, have looked at our needs as a district. And one of the things that we are committed to, and we handed this out tonight, um, is the model school framework um, for how we're going to 
provide instructional leadership to our teachers in professional development, how we're going to monitor teaching, um, and what we want for our students. And the center of that you see is student achievement. Um, we have an administrative team that is committed to having a student-centered organization. And for that reason, um, also prompted by the retirement of Mr. Spinoza, um, which I can only just say so many amazing things about, who in a short amount of time has done so many things for us. And the reason why we have the rankings we have for the high school, why we got the Gaston Capuchin Award, why we're on the AP Honor, why we have math space next year for our blended learning curriculum, all those things um, are because of Mr. Spinoza. And even though he's retiring, he's not going to be gone for long. Uh, we're going to find a way to get him back here with us. Um, that being said, um, that prompted us to look at you know what human capital do we have in the district, um, what are our strengths, and how we could reorganize to best meet this, um, the, our vision of a student-centered organization. And so tonight on the agenda, you're going to see a reorganization of the administrative team um, as follows. Um, starting next year, um, I'm recommending that Mr. Tony Colasardo be the principal of Weehawken High School. <laughs> Susie Mira, not Dorsey, um, as principal of Theodore Roosevelt School. <laughs> Anna Rodowski Bernstein as the principal of Daniel Webster School. And I think no other position illustrates exactly how we're moving pieces of expertise to help our students. Mr. Furlow has done an amazing job as supervisor of special education, and it's no secret that our <coughs> most important area of need is 7th through ninth grade. That's where we have the most at-risk students. So that's why we're going to have an assistant principal at the high school who's going to specialize in the 7th and ninth grade students, who has a math background, who has a special education background. He's going to be our Navy SEAL who's going in there to work with those students, and that's Mr. Rob Furlow. Also at the high school, um, Mr. Zach Nazimento, who's our supervisor of athletics, is also going to be serving as dean for a 10th through 12th grade, handling positive behavioral intervention supports and discipline with those students as the point person for those students. Essentially having two houses in the high school, 7 through 9 and 10 through 12. So I'm very happy for Mr. Nazimento. In the central office, um, Mr. Arecchio, who's done an amazing job and put up some amazing student achievement numbers. Um, at Theodore Roosevelt School will be taking over the position of Director of Pupil Services and Personalized Learning. Um, it's a new hybrid position common in many forward-thinking districts in which you'll be handling special education, ESL, um, health services, and monitoring our response to intervention program. Mr. Recchio is a data-driven person. He's a caring father, and I think he's going to bring all that to bear. I'm very happy that he'll be working in Central Office. Ms. Amato, who does like seven jobs, um, but handles all of our academic affairs where I've updated her job description to actually reflect all that she does for the district, and she'll be our PK, um, Director of Academic Affairs and Innovation. Mr. Callaghan has long served us. Um, he's the reason why we have all this technology, why we're able to go with Chromebooks for, for, for a park and things like that. And he'll be stepping into the district position of being district um, IT officer and um, chief digital information officer. And, <laughs> and lastly, but not least, well, there's no change to Vicky's job description. But Vicky's amazing, the best BA in the state. As so many superintendents tell me, they're so jealous that I have Vicky as my BA. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and Bill Good, our supervisor of buildings and grounds, is also going to be taking over the role of emergency management. We've been doing a lot of interfacing with the Weehawken Police Department, emergency um, preparedness, full security audit. Next year we're adding um, a scholarship um, system where kids are going to have to swipe in when they come in. It's a two-year rollout. We're adding cameras and things like that. Mr. Good has an expertise in that, and so we're expanding his role to keep our kids safe. This is the team. Um, these are the folks I want to look at in the huddle as we, as we clap and we go to the line of scrimmage. And these are the kids who are going to deliver the best product to your children. Um, I trust them with my own children, and I expect nothing less. Um, and I know they're going to do a great job. And I'm, I appreciate your support in this reorganization. I've had lots of positive feedback from parents um, the past 24 hours, and I feel really good about this one. So that's the big ticket item on my superintendent's report. Um, smaller, but you know, Still very important. We basically accomplished park in three and a half days at the high school. 
um, because of our use of going to Chromebooks, and then we're going to deploy those Chromebooks 7 through 12 to be a one-to-one -one district. Um, so we did move at lightning speed, but that came from the entry plan of people like Mr. Callaghy and Ms. Amato. Um, this is Mayor coming to me and saying, what can we do? We're looking at right now having to administer park over three weeks at the high school. Is there something we can do? So it's, I, part I love about my job is being able to say yes. Yes, we can go ahead with Chromebooks. And then that's going to give us the blended learning platform going forward for our students. So I feel absolutely fantastic about that. Some other things that are important. Um, in student life, we had an amazing um, autism baseball tournament, um, both girls baseball and softball. You guys saw the pictures on Twitter last night of the big check, $7,000 raised for an amazing part. <laughs> the was phenomenal. It was just absolutely amazing, and it's indicative of our amazing kids, the stage crew, the actors, and, and the community coming together. We had two packed houses both nights, and it was just absolutely fantastic. It was great. Thank you for everyone involved with that. The last two things, um, the first one um, I'm very happy about, but I knew what it was going to be, but we wanted to make sure anyway. In 2010, um, we volunteered to have all of our water tested by the EPA, um, and everything came back clean. We haven't put any lead pipes in since 2010, but we had it retested anyway. Um, Mr. Good oversaw that we had it tested at the source, the water coming in, nothing was detected, and then the same thing in the building, everything is safe, and we're nowhere near any of the thresholds or anything like that, um, and we're very happy. My own children drank the water here this morning in the faucet, um, and I'm very happy to say that with all the headlines, we have clean drinking water. And then the last thing is I'm continuing to execute my entry plan for another two months. Um, I spoke to the Daniel Webster PTA the other night, and then the next thing we're going to be doing is going to be a survey coming out. Um, we wanted to do it earlier in the month, but we're going to wait until the end of this month. Um, about our district goals, which we need to prepare. Um, I work with the board next month to do that. Our district goals are fantastic. Um, they're developed by Dr. Simons and the board. Um, and But one of the goals is hire a new superintendent. So we're going to tweak those a little bit to kind of reflect the current initiatives that we have, maybe things like green schools and blended learning and things like that. So there's going to be a survey going out to all the stakeholders with feedback on where we should tweak those goals. And that's all I got tonight. That's it. Nothing else. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Wiki, and uh, I know Dr. Wiki and Dr. Simon for the head together for this organization, and I just want to thank them, and uh, congratulations to the staff. Uh, I'll take a motion for to accept the so thank you for it. Second. All in favor? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Tommy's report. All matters of teen in nature. So I can hear. That. Thank you. <laughs> Motion to accept. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It is resolved that the Board of Education accept the resignation of home retirement of Mr. Smith, the member of Christopher High School, High School, July 1st, 2016, and to further resolve that the Board of Education extend to Mr. Smith their appreciation for his 30 years of service to the New York High School. A motion to move. Move. Second. Second. <coughs> All in favor? Any names? On behalf of the board, thank you. Mrs. Pinot, for everything you've done for the district. Uh, one of you tried to advance, we had the best band, anything you've ever done. We've always had, we're always number one, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know him from a very young age, his father and mother. I just feel so good that a guy like him and Miss Dorsey and several other, Mr. Robert uh, Rule, all Weehawken people elevating themselves prominently in this district. And I've been here to see you. So congratulations to all you and all the other people who did a wonderful job. 
Dr. Smith-Simons, who's a foreigner to me. <laughs> he did an excellent job. He helped our district, so I'm grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you. Item B. Be it resolved that the Board of Education accept the resolution of the retirement of Mrs. Alameda, who is home, library, media specialist, Theodore Roosevelt School, effective July 1, 2016. We further resolve that the Board of Education extends to Mrs. Tony their appreciation for a 25 years of service to the New York and Public Schools. Motion is Second. Mrs. Sanchez. All in favor? Yes. Any nays? Item C. The it resolved that the Board of Education accepts the resignation upon retirement of Mrs. Jeannie Roberts. School nurse, Theodore Roosevelt School, effective July 1st, 2016, and be further resolved that the Board of Education extends to Mrs. Roberts their appreciation for her 21 years of service to the Weehawken Public Schools. Second. Second. All in favor? Yeah. Any nays? Item D. The it resolved that the Board of Education accept the resolution. Of prudential and criminal background check. Motion. 
Council, the mayor, and especially the community for allowing me to be involved and teach this, the children of this, of this uh, community. Uh, I thank you for all your support. I thank you for all your best wishes. And I would have never lived my life a different way. So, um, excuse me. Thank you. Uh, being a Weehawken, uh, uh, growing up here, as Frank said, uh, for 27 years, and then teaching here for another 30 uh, has been a uh, tremendous um, part of my life and 
my family and I thank you all for allowing me to do so. And uh, I will always remember Wee Hawkin and uh, I will always be uh, fond of the memories and the accomplishments that we've had here. And I want to thank you all once again from the bottom of my heart to all of you. To my, uh, to my fellow administrators, uh, thank you so much uh, for, uh, for being uh, so close to me, not only as far as business in the school is concerned, but as friends. And I will treasure your, uh, your friendship and, your, and being a colleague of yours <coughs> forever. And to all my teachers and the teachers of the district who I've known, and I've known a lot of their children, uh, thank you very much for everything. Thank you very much. And I, I have to especially thank Dr. Uh, Dr. Fitz Simons and especially Dr. Zwicky for uh, giving me this uh, opportunity for transition and, uh, and made it very seamless. So thank you, thank you very much. And uh, it's been a tremendous, it's been a tremendous ride here for over 30 years. So I thank you. Old, uh, Steve is 57. I figured it out. That's why I'm not so good. Uh, any other comment? Okay, well, thank you very much for coming. Uh, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Cool. That was quick. Second. <laughs> <laughs> One favor. Thank you very much, everybody.